Hey guys, Jared from Backwoods Animation, and today we're doing a tutorial on rigging the eyebrows. Let's get into it. So if I'm setting up a joystick and slider for the eyebrows, I want it to correspond with the position of the joystick. So if the neutral if this is my neutral pose, I'll have it come down. And I think I'm gonna pull the eyebrows a little bit wider to cover the eye. I wanna make sure that it, it goes from one side of the eye to the other, so we get a full coverage if the eyebrows come down over the eye. Um, so since I copied and pasted this eyebrow and it has a negative value, I can come to this eyebrow, copy its path, and paste it right there, and it'll give me an exact duplicate only mirrored. So all we have to do is really animate one eyebrow, and we should be good. So if this will be my left position, I think I want this one to be down I'm gonna give kind of like a, a what there we go we'll go with something like this and then this little guy will come over here whoops Pick that up. This will be him being kind of, kind of like, what? Okay. All right, that's good enough. Let me pull that. All right, then we'll paste origins. And then this one will be Maybe we'll do like a kind of like a whoops. Sorry about that, guys. And then what we can do is just copy and paste that keyframe and we're mirrored. Look at that. Then this will be my up frame. So this will be him being like really surprised, like excited. So I can even pull these up a bit. And then last but not least will be down. This will be him kind of either, whoops, frustrated or angry. Don't want to get too angry because he's a kid or he's supposed to be like a likable character. So maybe right around there. And then we'll paste it. All right, that looks pretty good. The next thing I want to do is I want to be able to mask out the um, the eyeball. I want to be able to mask it out, so I'm going to take just a shape. Oops, and go like so. There we go, and we'll fill it with just a solid color. I'll do. I'll just do like a gray. And I'm just going to call this eye mask. Put it below, below there. And now I'm going to follow my eyebrows with this shape. So as the eyebrows move, 
I want my shape to move too. And just try to keep it in line with the corners of the eyebrows. Last but not least, we'll go right up here. Okay, so this shape is gonna be masking out our, our, our eyeballs and our pupils. I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, so now I'm gonna create a joystick. I'm gonna call this Cole Eyebrows. Okay, so now as I move my joystick, it all should be moving together. That looks pretty cool. So we have up, angry, kind of concerned, and like a what? Okay, so what I might do, let me see how this looks. If I just take this color from the head and, and make this color the same color. Let's see what happens. So now we can't see it, but the question is, does it break from the thing? And yes, it does. So it breaks outside of the boundaries of our head right here. So if it didn't do that, that would be a perfect fix. Problem is, it does do that. So let's see, the way that I want to fix that is I'm going to grab the eyes. I'm going to put it right here at the pupil mask, and I'm going to create an alpha mat with that. So now my eye mask is masked by the eye. And I think I want to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. So now as it moves, it only covers the eye in the area that the pupil is. So let's go back to the head and look at that. There we go. That looks really good. Hey, if you guys liked the video and you want to see the full series, head over to patreon.com forward slash backwards animation and you can watch the whole series where I go from the ground up and I cover everything about this rig. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Feel free to head on over there. All right, thanks guys.